What is going on everybody? Welcome to the very next episode of We Fish and today I have something special. I made a new purchase and that was the Jiffy Torch. This is a uh, drill power auger. Well that's what it's made for but uh, we're, today I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna test it out. I'm gonna show you exactly what comes with it and uh, we're gonna see how many holes we can punch. I'll show you exactly what I'm using for a drill. The drill is also brand new with a fully charged battery. So first, first things first, I got the uh, one with the bag model. So I did not really want the one with the bag, uh, but that's all they had left. But to be honest with you, overall, like the bag quality is actually very, very well done. It is very thick and foamy, so it's somewhat kind of insulated. All right, so I'm gonna pull the drill out here. Okay, so this one right here, it's only five pounds. Five pounds, so it is uh, quite light. It's not the lightest like the Eskimo pistol bit, but it is uh, pretty close. It's about five pounds. It's an eight inch auger. Um, it uses a uh, ripper blade, one single ripper blade with one uh, single uh, pilot blade in the middle. So we're just gonna hook it up here. It has a plate here in case if it does fall off the chuck or the drill, there's something to stop it. So that's uh, really good insurance. This right here, it is a composite uh, flight. So quite quite light it's somewhat got a little bit of a flex to it but it's not uh not as flexible as the uh strike master ones it's a metal shaft so quite solid the bag right here it uh, fits actually quite a bit of stuff so i got my uh flambo uh, 3000 series uh, tackle kit in here got two of them holds some extra fishing line some some lures uh, bait i even got a tape measure so i can measure the uh the ice thickness so it's quite well done. Uh, this right here, the straps. I mean, the strap is not really needed, but it's quite quite nice to have just to carry around. But unfortunately, these right here are, have, feels like it's gonna be a little bit brittle plastic. I'm not too sure how long that will last, but that's okay. If it does break, this handle is quite solid. Today, I'll be powering it with a brand new Cobalt brushless 24 volt. And I know a lot of you fanboys are gonna say, oh, get a Milwaukee and get it done with or a Dewalt because that's the only way to go so if you guys think that I should have got something like the Dewalt for the Milwaukee put the comment in the bottom below argue with each other I don't really care uh, this thing was half the cost of those other drills and it comes with a five-year warranty on the tool itself three years on the battery so really I don't have anything to worry about it's got a Jacobs chuck metal and uh, has more than enough torque, it's supposed to have more than enough torque to actually turn that uh, auger bit. And also Jiffy at the same time doesn't have a recommended brand of drill that you have to use. So it's not mandatory that I have to buy a Milwaukee. So we're gonna quickly twist this on here. So I'm gonna drill the first hole here. And then we're going to measure the, the thickness. So I've had this battery in my pocket the whole time just to keep it warm. Let's slide this bad boy on. So as you can see, right here, full battery right there. Just lit it up. Just charged it fully last night. And this is it. First hole. all this aside and I'm just gonna I want to get the battery cold here so we'll lay it on the bag and then we're gonna measure we're gonna measure this thickness here so that's about ten and a half inches of ice that's, I'm just kind of hitting yep ten and a half inches Okay, let's start drilling. So I'm gonna do rows of 10.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Yeah. I accidentally did a double hole here, so that was probably a little harder on the drill. My battery is flashing between all the, the LEDs. I'm not sure exactly what that means, if it's overheated or it's dead. One or the other. I'm thinking the battery overheated. What? I'm thinking the battery overheated. It's still, it's like super hot still. And uh, it's got three bars out of four. Like earlier it was flashing. Right yeah. Yeah, it cuts strong, but yeah, I mean, I put I, I put the battery on the ice to, to cool it down, but I just came back, touched it, it was, it's still hot, like I'm touching a hand warmer. I think it overheated or whatever. Yeah, I think it's still overheating because as soon as I drill, battery bar goes down and then I let it sit for a second and comes back up again. I'm gonna keep trying, see how many holes I get in between the cooling down part. Yeah. seems as though this battery pack right here this keep in mind this is only a four amp hour battery uh, this battery pack it feels like it is uh, well it's kind of overheating is what's happening it's like super hot it's warmed up um, drilling ice constantly down that row as soon as I let it cool down you can see the battery bar kind of come back up and then uh, and then uh, give it juice again so yeah I'm just gonna let it cool down uh, and then uh, well, I'm gonna continue drilling as soon as uh, as soon as it cools down here. We'll see how it, well it actually does. Just keep in mind this battery; it is quite a bit cheaper than a lot of others, like from Dewalt in Milwaukee. Um, you can get them right now for only seventy dollars. So it's I would say it's not it's not bad. It's pretty cheap actually compared to other batteries. Would I recommend it? I mean, like I'm. I fish on weekends and I don't punch a whole lot of holes. So it probably will work for me. I just need more batteries. I need more than just this one. Probably need to invest in at least two more. Cool down. Let's try it here. It's at two bars right now. Let's do one more.
we're almost 18 hills. Okay. There we go. Let's see if we can get the 19th one here. Right at my 11th hole, it, uh, the battery kind of overheated for sure because I was just punching hole one after the other and yeah, I just wanted to give up. But, uh, but when it has power, juice, it cuts through fine. Okay, so the drill bit itself from Jiffy, it cuts quite well, chews right through the ice. Unfortunately, the, uh, the drill portion itself, I would say um, it's either I would have to change it out to another one with a uh, bigger, bigger battery or, uh, or uh, buy some more batteries, one or the other. So if I was to camp out or I needed to punch a lot of holes, I would probably need at least two more. Luckily, these batteries are only about $70 each. Currently at 18 holes, I want to do my 19th one, but uh, just kind of letting it cool down. Let's see if I can push it a little bit further here. Give up a 19. 19. It's 18 and a half. Got 18 and a half holes at 10 and a half inches each. So there you have it. Okay, so this uh, this Jiffy drill bit, it's actually, it's quite nice. I really love it. It comes with a really nice bag. Um, I wouldn't value it at a hundred bucks what they're selling it for, like Canadian. But uh, yeah, it does not come with blade protectors or blade cover so that for me is a little bit of an issue i, I mean i don't want to have to stick in the bag every single time i'm done cutting uh, cutting the holes and at the same time there's a lot of people that set their auger on the ground and then there's dogs walking around and i i've heard of dogs or friends dogs that have actually kicked uh the blades and had to go to the vet so i wish i had some uh blade protectors this is something that jiffy should have did i would say it, it doesn't come with the protectors when you have the bag. If you bought it without the bag, it comes with it. And if you guys are wondering the entire time why I have a Christmas tree right here, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and stick around. Hopefully, hopefully you guys will be around to see why I have a Christmas tree on the ice. We'll see you next time.